All right, so real quick, I got a package in the mail. To cover up my address. Where is it from? It's from the Black Bibs. So found out about this company on uh, Facebook, and um, I was looking for some bibs uh, to fit a, a bigger guy like myself that were comfortable and I could wear for long rides. I could train in. I can kind of beat up. Honestly, if they get destroyed, it's not that big of a deal. And I was looking, you know, my price point was like. 50 to 70 80 dollars that range um and so i ordered a couple more pair i already have a pair so here's two more pairs so let's see what's in the package this time all right got the uh, pack slip pack slip awesome so so for two pairs my subtotal was 130 dollars my total price with shipping and everything and tax was $149.34 for two pairs of bibs. And I got two pairs of bibs. So the black bibs, no labels, no BS. The other reason why I like these is literally there's no branding. There's no labels. There's nothing. They're just black bibs. I get sick of having all the logos and all the. I'm not a sponsored writer. I'm just some dude on a bike trying to get some miles in. I don't need all the... I don't need to be all loaded up. So it's a white top, black bottom. There's not one stitch. In fact, if you look inside at the label, there's only one label in this whole thing. The only label and the only identifying mark in this whole thing is that label right there. That's it. it says it's 80% polyester, 20% spandex, and big boy size. Let's take this off. Uh, black bibs, blackbibs.com. It's backwards for me. I don't know what it is for you. I assume it's backwards. So I wore a pair. I bought an original pair approximately a year ago, and I've worn them for an entire year worth of cycling, training indoors and outside. And I got to say, they're, they're, they're pretty comfortable. They've worn pretty well. Um, no issues, no fraying, no tearing, no discoloration. Fabric's not getting too thin already. Um, so let's go over a couple of features that I like. Um, I like that it's higher here in the front because it uh, is just more comfortable. It's not super low. Some of mine are super low, some are high. This one's like right in the middle. Um, the other thing that I like is around the legs. So the material around the legs, this is that grippy, soft grippiness. And it's nice and thin. There's a seam right here. But this is really comfortable stuff. This is real comfortable. Um, the chamois is fine also. So like I said, I wore these last night. And I just grabbed them. Um, I have some premium sets of bibs, and I have these, and I have some low. I, I don't have any more lower-end sets of bibs. They're in the trash now. But um, I wore these, and I had no discomfort. I biked. Uh, it was 18 miles on Zwift. It was for one of the Tour de Zwift rides, a Tour de Watopia or whatever it was, the stage one. I did that ride. I did it at probably a steady state type pace. It was vigorous. It was it was peppy. It was uh, spirited, but it was not a like a race or anything. But the chamois in this thing is pretty good. And I'm a big fan of red, white, and black. So they got me at all the colors. I know it's a trivial thing, but it, it's a thing. Um, the the chamois is uh, is comfortable. I have zero issues with it either. There's no rubbing, no chafing. The stitching doesn't get in the way. Everything's fine. Um, I don't know what to say about a pair of bibs other than when I put these on, I don't think about the bibs anymore. I just think about the ride. I think about other stuff. I think about cars. I think about other riders. I think about all kinds of other stuff. But um, I'm looking forward to washing these and, uh, and wearing them. Again, the other pair that I had for about a year now, um, they've worn very well. In fact, once I wear these a couple times, these will probably be indistinguishable from my pair that's a year old. The white is still extremely white. They've been washed lots of times, never dried, always hung dry. Um, all my cycling stuff is only ever hung dry. Um, but this, the, the top is still extremely white. And, um, and like I said, it, it's, they've worn very, very well and I put a lot of miles on them. So um, the black bibs, and again, that price for two pair. And I think for the big boy size, they charge me a little extra. Um, I got the black. So they have a lot of different variations. 
but I got the black bibs plus short inseam. Again, most times when you order a 3X or a larger size bib, they're always longer. And sometimes those bibs end up coming down to my knees because they expect, you know, for a 3X to not only be, you know, bigger around, but they expect for them to be much taller. I'm only six foot tall. I'm not seven foot tall. So, you know, so I go for the short inseam and they fall right where they should, right at the like lower third of my cap, my, um, my calf. Those would be some damn tights. The lower third of my, uh, <laughs> my quad near my knee. So uh, it works out pretty good. Again, that price was just on 150 bucks for two pair, which is right inside my price point for a pair of shorts with no name, no branding that I want to wear for a few years training, you know, just doing whatever in and having some fun. So uh, any questions, I guess, hit me up in the comments below. Otherwise, the black bibs gets a, gets a huge thumbs up for me. I'm a big fan. I'll be buying more pairs.